Everybody, please rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, John Brown, President of Warren City Council, is going to lead us in prayer today. I'll bow our heads, please. Thank you, dear God, for this day. God bless this county. Keep us strong and healthy and happy. Help us to always do our best. Amen. Amen. I'd like to ask for a moment of silence for Israel right now. Okay, our next public workshop will be Tuesday, October 17th at 10 a.m. in this room. Next regular meeting will be next Wednesday, October 18th at 1030 also in this room. Madam Clerk. Mr. Cantilla Mesa. Here. Ms. Frenchko. Here. Mr. Malloy. Here. Item number one is to dispense with reading the minutes of the regular meeting dated October 4th, 2023, accept and approve the video recording of the October 4th, 2023 commissioner's regular meeting as the official meeting minutes. A motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantilla Mesa. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number two is to approve the bills. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantilla Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number three is to approve additional appropriations. Uh, motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantilla Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. I'd say yes, with the exception of common, please. <clears throat> Item number four is to transfer appropriations. A motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantilla Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number five is to receive the amended certificate of the County Budget Commission, number 20-2023. A motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantilla Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Okay, item number six is to remove from table item 16 from the October 4th, 2023 meeting, um, volume 157, page 26013. A motion to remove from table. Second that. Mr. Cantilla Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number seven is to authorize the Board of Commissioners to join with the Trimble County Prosecuting Attorney to file an application with the Court of Common Pleas for the appointment of Attorney Robert Berkey yes. as legal counsel for the Trimble County Board of Commissioners to provide legal research, advice, and consulting to handle any related litigation relating to a petition for annexation related to parcel number 28 dash 52200, also known as 3972 Youngstown Road, Southeast Warren, Ohio, 44484. Keep reading, please. The Trumbull County Prosecutor's uh, Office generally assists in matters such as this one, but in this case, this office faces a conflict of interest because we represent multiple parties involved in this matter. Attorney Robert Berkey will provide legal counsel and representation at the rate of $200 per hour. Make a motion to approve. 
I'll second that. Discussion. Do we even know what type of annexation this is yet? We do not. We are consulting with him to hire an attorney based on the prosecutors to tell us if we even need an attorney. So we don't, <laughs> so we already have him on retainer and he'll give us the advice on that since our prosecutor that can't. Was his first time representing on a, an annexation and she, and he really wasn't sure of it. Secondly, they, can you please talk in the microphone? They can't hear you. Secondly, there's um, there's no need to hire an attorney when we don't even know if it's going to be a contested type. The engineer's office, I don't believe, is even hiring an attorney at this juncture. We should wait to see what type of annexation petition comes before us before um, someone is retained. And if we did retain someone, it should be someone with um, more expertise in annexations. There's no reason to hire someone when it might not even be contested. I respectfully disagree. I respectfully disagree also. He's already in retainer. Delicious. It'll cost him cost us at the bare minimum for him to look at the annexation and tell us if we need him or not. Since he's already on retainer with us, I'd like to continue with him. We're the county administrators in absence of one. If we don't have the ability to look at that and you or you don't, I should say, have the ability to look at that and determine whether or not counsel's needed, then that's an embarrassment. So go ahead and, and hire an attorney. We've got a motion in a second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchkow? No. <clears throat> Item number eight is to concur with the county engineer to grant the special hauling permit to haul steel coils. And that's for J Row Transportation Services, Inc. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchkow? Yes. Item number nine is to concur with the Trumbull County engineer to grant the right of way permits requested by the companies listed. And that's Claridge Farms LLC and Dominion East Ohio. A motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. There are no typos on the names on the next um, item, are there, Mr. Gargano? or anyone okay are there alex no okay okay item number 10 is to approve employment for 15 <laughs> candidates based off of the rubric scores for vacant positions at both trumbull county Department of Job and Family Services and Child Support Enforcement Agency. And I'll read the note. The candidates would be would begin employment on Monday, November 6, 2023, receive full county benefits, and serve a nine-month probationary period. The candidates have completed a BCV FBI background check and drug and alcohol screening with favorable results. A motion to approve. Second. I just want to add to the a, a comment on this. Please make sure that I have the individual sheets for each candidate that's being approved. I asked for that last time and I was getting it up until there was a up until the last round of hires I was receiving it and I didn't get it this time or the time before since a new person there took took that position. So can we make sure that I get those please? Thank you. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 11 is to approve funds requested by the Trumbull County Metro Parks District to hire a part-time office manager for 12 hours per week in the amount of $10,934 and a transfer set amount from account 001-120-1000-1000-1 dash 505-805-2981 dash 000 dash 5600-5600 dash 3 dash 413000. A motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Oh. Ms. Frenchko? Uh, abs absolutely not because it, it wasn't in the budget. This individual is the director. 
and the, this job description looks like it was just not even made necessarily for this position is talking about other department heads someone did this for him and he should be able to operate the finances there as the director so this is so this is foolish but no i disagree metro park system is very crucial and important to our citizens we got a bike trail we need to maintain we have other properties okay. that are used by tens of thousands of citizens we have a one man show able, over there now. I was able to assert the reason for um, my no vote, but if you want to engage in discussion, the, it was previously done by someone who was the secretary of the board for $200 a month. And there's no reason that the director can absorb a small additional duty. I think the director's overworked as it is. He's out fixing picnic tables when he should be getting grant money and okay. being an, an executive director. And now to add the burden of doing the books and the payroll and everything else on top of it when we had someone doing part, it for years. A part-time employee to do finance. 12 hours a week. Uh, yeah. Minimally and, paid. And you can see what it is, what's required. It says, it says what they would be doing is purchasing payroll, financial reporting, things like that, but only requires a um, high school diploma. So, okay. We're, we're not hiring a rocket position. scientist. We're right. hiring a Someone's part time person. Okay. And, and, and by the way, by the way, we, by, by the way, Commissioner, we did our have HR director that can't even do uh, okay. reporting and projection. Can we of, stay on task, please? Uh, reporting and projection of our um, the financial impact of contract. Getting back, to the, getting back to the agenda. I question, so, question. What type, what type of degree do you need to handle payroll for two people? To turn in payroll for two people. I think the director can is that, do that very hard. I think the director can do that for himself. There's no reason that he can't be able to handle. And answer the phone when he's out. There are about hundreds of miles of properties, he's been doing and we have this a department of by one. Himself the whole time. We have a but, department okay, of one. All right. And and by the way, we did our due diligence and we looked for all contracting. Right, all right. Can I? All speak? right. No, no. We're actually. We're we did our due diligence. Voted. So we're so. Why do you hate I, the parks? I want to tell you what we did. We've already voted, so I want to tell you what we did. Can I please speak? We've already we did our due we diligence. Know. We looked. Commissioner at... Cannelly says the floor. We're not on the we're not on the agenda. I am making a motion that we that we return back to the agenda. We're we are on the agenda. I'm trying to educate you on what order. happened uh, that led up to this. Order motion for order. Commissioner Cannelly has the floor. Motion. For order of the day, uh, Commissioner, and that's not how that works. No, but, I'm telling you, Commissioner we are Cam still on this has agenda the floor. item. To call the roll to see if we're out of order. Commissioner Cam Malesa has the floor. I, I'll speak to the today. press after. This is Motion ridiculous, Commissioner. I'm sorry. We need to move the proceedings forward. Okay. It's ridiculous. Item number twelve is to authorize notice to proceed letter to be issued to Boken Sons Inc. for the Trumbull County Planning Commission building roof replacement project funded through the American Rescue Plan Act and to request that the Board of Trouble County Commissioners authorize Danny Malloy to sign a notice notice to proceed letter. Uh, motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 13 is to enter in, into a support and maintenance agreement with Intellitech Corp to provide maintenance and licensure to operate the Intellitech IMAC jail maintenance management system in the Trumbull County Jail. The agreement will be for three years, beginning on October 10th, 2023, and expiring on October 9th, 2026. The total cost is $135,000, payable in three annual payments of $45,000. Uh, motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamese. Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Uh, because it wasn't approved yet by the prosecutor's office and I wasn't given all of the information, which included that, to make a decision now. Item number 14 is to authorize the senior levy administrator, Diane siskowick Jerkovic, to prepare and submit the Department of Aging Healthy Aging Grant Registration for this funding opportunity is only available to the Trumbull County Board of Commissioners as established through House Bill 33 of the 135th General Assembly for all Ohio counties to address social determinants of health and to foster improved quality of life for older Ohioans so they may remain in their homes 
and be connected to their communities, preserve their personal assets, and promote a healthy, independent, active lifestyle, and to authorize Denny Malloy, President of the Board of Commissioners, to sign and execute related documents, including but not limited to grant agreement if awarded the funds. A motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Okay, item number 15 is to adopt a resolution authorizing expenditure for responding to or mitigating the public health emergency from American Rescue Plan Act funds. And this is for Niles Historical Society. And commissioners, if you'll go to the next page, I'll read the specifics. Toward the bottom, whereas the Niles Historical Society is a 501c nonprofit, which provides historical preservation and education for the community. And whereas the Niles Historical Society has requested funding the amount of $63,050 for a renovation project relating to the historical barn and historical greenhouse of the Ward Thomas House. And whereas the Niles Historical Society has indicated that once repaired, the historical barn and greenhouse will be made available for educational programming and the five acres upon which the Thomas Ward House is preserved will be open to the public as green space and whereas the county has determined that the Niles Historical Society has demonstrated it is adversely impacted industry and the grant request is reasonable, responsive, the harm, and therefore the county has determined that in the judgment of the board, the following grant qualifies as, as a type of project which will respond to and mitigate the adverse economic effects of the pandemic, which consists of the following, a grant a one-time grant to the Niles Historical Society in the amount of $63,050 to be used for the preservation of the historical Thomas Ward property, including replacing the roof on the barn and repair and replacing the roof, gla glass walls, and ventilation system in the greenhouse, which will enable the society to make the property open to the public for educational and recreational green space. Motion. motion to approve a re resolution authorizing ARPA expenditures for the Niles Historical Society. Second. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. And then number 16 goes along with that to enter into an agreement between the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners and the Niles Historical Society as approved by um, ARPA Legal Council for the society to preserve and improve the historical Thomas Ward House, barn and greenhouse, to allow the property to open to the public for green space education and recreational purposes as fully described in Exhibit A. And the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners allocates the sum of $63,050 to the society from ARPA fund number 077-011-1000-1000-1-1. Zero six. Uh, motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number 17 is to adopt a resolution authorizing expenditure for responding to or mitigating the public health emergency from American Rescue Plan Act funds. And this is for Harriet Taylor Upton Association. And commissioners, if you go on the next page, whereas the Harriet Taylor Upton Association is a 501c nonprofit, which provides historical preservation and education for the community. And whereas the Harriet Taylor Upton Association has requested funding the amount of $58,829 for a renovation project for historical structure preserved by the association, including installation of an HVAC system and necessary roof repairs. And whereas the county has determined that the Harriet Taylor Upton Association has demonstrated it is an adversely impacted industry and the grant request is reasonable response of the harm. And therefore the county has determined that in the judgment of the board, the following grant qualifies as a type of project which will respond to and mitigate the adverse economic effects of the pandemic, which consists of the following, 
a one-time grant to the Harriet Taylor Upton Association in the amount of $58,829 to be used for the association's preservation of the Harriet Taylor Upton House to install an HVAC system and conduct necessary roof repairs as set forth in the grant agreement. Motion to approve adopting a resolution to authorize expenditure of ARPA funds for the Harriet Taylor Upton Association. Second. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Mr. Cantola Mesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. And then item 18 goes along with that to enter into an agreement between the Board of County Commissioners and the Harriet Taylor Upton Association as approved by ARPA Legal Council to preserve the historic Harriet Taylor Upton home with HVAC roof repairs and renovations to allow the property to open to the public for historic museum and educational purposes as fully described in Exhibit A. And the Board of County Commissioners allocates the sum of $58,829 to the association from ARPA fund number 077-011-1000-1000-1505506. A motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantola Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item 19 is to adopt a resolution authorizing expenditure for responding to or mitigating the public health emergency from the American Rescue Plan Act funds, and this is for Vienna Historical Society. And on the next page, Commissioner's um, Center, whereas the Vienna Historical Society is a 501c nonprofit which provides historical preservation and education for the community and whereas the Vienna Historical Society has requested funding the amount of $60,000 for a renovation project for historical structure preserved by the society, including an HVAC system and repairs. And whereas the county has determined that the Vienna Historical Society has demonstrated it is adversely impact, impacted industry and the grant request is reasonable response of the harm and therefore the county has determined that in the judgment of the board, the following grant qualifies as a type of project which will respond to and mitigate the adverse economic effects of the pandemic, which consists of the following. A one-time grant to the Vienna Historical Society in the amount of $60,000 for the preservation of the Copper Penny Building, including installation of a gas furnace, an air conditioner, a wheelchair ramp, a fire escape, new gutters, and electrical upgrade as set forth in the grant agreement attached here to his exhibit A. Motion to approve a resolution authorizing an ARPA expenditure for the Vienna Historical Society. Second. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Mr. Cantola Mesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. And item 20 goes along with that to enter into an agreement between the Board of County Commissioners and the Vienna Historical Society is approved by ARPA Legal Council for the Society to preserve and improve the Copper Penny Building with HVAC, electrical, and ADA upgrades to allow the property to open to the public for historic museum and educational purposes as described in Exhibit A, and the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners allocates the sum of $60,000 to the society from ARPA fund number 077-011-1000-1000-1505506. Motion to approve entering agreement between the Board of Commissioners and the Vienna Historical Society for the project at, at the Copper Penny Building. Second. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Mr. Cantola Mesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Item 21 is to grant permission to the county engineer to close the road listed, and that is Brockway, Sharon, Orangeville Road in Brookfield Township, and this is an emergency bridge closure. Motion to approve the bridge closure. Second. Ms. Frenchko? Or the road closure. Is it the road or? Wait. The road. Uh, the road, okay. Ms. Frenchka? Yes. Mr. Cantola Mesa? Yes. Malloy? Yes. Okay, that concludes our regular business on the agenda today. Um, I'd like to request that the commissioners hold a meeting to discuss the 
um, activities that have been done related to the educational highway and include um, us, our legal counsel, the engineer, and their legal counsel. We have been paying bills for two two sets two attorneys, and I believe that we need to be able to uh, provide an appropriate update to the public. A lot of people have reached out, including um, trustees. Really, a, a trustee was even asking about the activities over there and uh, at the educational highway. And I want to make sure that we are transparent and I'd like to call a meeting related to that for when uh whenever they're available so we have to f ask our uh, scheduler to find out what because it's going to include two attorneys as well there's a period of time when Commissioner Cantal Mesa actually thought that the attorney that we were paying for the engineer was our attorney. So I want to know. I want to know what's going on. That's not true. So, that's why we hired another and, attorney. Well, you reached out to him, though. You you reach out to your own counsel if that's the case. So at any rate, I I would like to have. It, it a, wasn't a, our counsel. It was counsel it, appointed to the it, county it, engineer. Please it, stop with the lies and no, the false information. Yeah. And we are nearing a completion on not, this. And you have no idea what we're doing, but we're nearing a conclusion on this where we're going to dedicate the road formally. So please do not. So that's why we need to have a meeting because there might be some other implications. Call our attorney and get the information from the attorney. No, I am. We need a meeting because there could be some. There is attorney other client issues. privilege in these discussions. Call the attorney and see if you can talk to him about it. When have we had an executive session or any type of meeting with our attorneys or them been given? The well, directive? if you want to have executive session, that's different. Did they? Who gave them the directive to do that dedication? What directive? You said that they were, were trying to dedicate the road. That's so what we were trying that, to do in the that's process. That's not what the engagement or the original journal actually. So you don't agree with that? Well, with what the formal I'm dedication asking of the road. you at whose directive is he doing that? The board of the, the board of commissioners. The board of commissioners all, yes. told him to do that. That's why we hired. When? Him. That's why we hired him. When in the was resolution. He told him to do that? In the resolution to that we passed. That. In exactly. the resolution that okay. we passed. Again, so let's. It's for the you. formal dedication of the road. There's there, it, there be, doesn't need to be a meeting. If you want to have executive session, we can have executive not, session. I, 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 I think we need to meet two attorneys first. Two attorneys are not going to come to a public not meeting. I'm sorry. Reason for an executive session, uh, to be honest, per perfect. Commissioner, honest. do you want to dedicate the road or not? Do you want the road to formally dedicate? Fine. I will have a meeting with the county engineer, and if he wants to bring his counsel, he can because I okay. believe that there might be some. Well, if you, you can bring your counsel. I and think we need to meet with our attorney first and see what he's done. Have you talked to our attorney? Well, what Have you talked to our attorney? What is our attorney done? Have you talked to asking. our attorney? We, we need to meet with him. Have you spoken to our attorney? Clearly no one he's done a lot, hired. actually, if you get the emails. We're nearing a completion on this if you check your emails. At whose directive? At the, the board's board. directive. We want to dedicate that road. It, I, I, it's in the minutes of past board meetings. That's why we hired, hired the hired attorney. attorney to work on this. To do, okay. And you haven't met with them at all. We dedicate hire the, guys. You didn't meet with them. Whose directive? At the board's directive. We passed this a long time ago to, for him to look at how to formally dedicate the road. Exactly what they were, what it said. Okay. I'm sorry. So you want to meet with their other attorney. It, his attorney, not with ours first. Said from Makes no sense. Said from day one that we needed to hire someone who specialized in joint economic development districts because there are some other issues related out there that aren't just as simple as a dedication. And a dedication causes some other issues as well that are impacting on the uh, the township. But there are no, you there are no that. issues impacting neither on the township. I'm capable of understanding the, that. And I will not go to where I went last year trying to explain this but i will have i will suggest a public meeting so that and bring someone who can interpret it for you because there's there are, there are some serious problems that could arise and that we should be addressing as commissioners to make sure that this moves forward smoothly what we need to get that information there's serious problems that could arise if you haven't spoke to the attorney where are you getting your information i know these you just Jenny, know some it. of us know things. Okay. Some of us understand things. I, I didn't know you were a, a, a professional know-it-all. Okay. Clearly, really, you've been consulting really, with somebody. Really, no, Clearly, no, you've been consulting with somebody. We have our own attorney, and you haven't even talked to our attorney.
perceive that women are capable of um, independent thought. Talk about you play every card. Uh -huh. Nikki, you play every card in the deck except the truth card, the woman okay. card, the military card, yeah. the race okay. card, the ethnic card, okay. the, the victim card, every okay. card you in the deck except the truth you card. You need to tell the truth once in a while. It's not cute for a big bully to sit and insult a woman every meeting and act well, it's like not, I don't it's understand. It's not cute to hide behind the woman or I'm Hispanic or I'm this or I'm that. Just because you don't want people okay, to know you're wrong. Make some more. Why don't you talk to our attorney that you paid comments for? Comments about someone related to you know ethnic stereotypes. Well, you're, you're, you're paying. Horrible. You are paying an attorney. A board of commissioners okay. is paying an attorney. Again, you real quick. Back, with back to what you haven't even read the email from him. Do you understand the implications? Of, do you know what a jet is? I do know what a okay. jet is. Explain, explain what the issue. And is I've talked there. to I've talked to Champion Towns of Trustees myself. Oh. Tell I do us, understand for that big project, we should have a jet. But sure. we should have the, or the road dedication first. Right. right now, they're fighting over who has the road. Okay. Can I, can and it's a hospital project no, because we don't own the road. It actually, we never actually formally didn't. dedicated it yet. I've talked to the engineer you Smith. Have no also. idea. You have no idea. It's terrible. It is terrible. It is terrible. At the end of the day, so again, the I'm township is worried about the maintenance of that road. And never talks to him. Makes no sense. How much have you paid him? So you have we paid this attorney? So you, oh, yeah. I have not. I didn't hire him. You guys did before I got and, here. You went back and forth? or I've talked emails? to him. We hired him. Okay. So who went back and forth with the emails? Who told him what to do? I've spoken to him on the phone. Okay. The road dedication is why we hired him, Commissioner. Okay. Go look at the resolution. The road dedication okay. is first and foremost. Go look at the a copy of that resolution right and after the meeting. Also look at our prosecutor's opinion that talks about how common law dedication does not suffice and we have to do a formal dedication. I understand you not seen that, that one? The, I, I, I did all the research, called the original meeting, brought it to the board's attention. You while well, you sat on it for years and I try I brought people together to actually move it forward. So you sat, I've sat on it for years, but you haven't spoken to the attorney one time. I've been here eight months. We've the I've heard of the words Not one mouth in eight months. I, I, so why today? I got, uh, cause I got, okay. It's been a, an ongoing so, so problem. Where what's we an ongoing problem? Without having any communication with the board of commissioners to obtain directive. I have communication with the attorney. I can't help it that you don't have it. Are you authorized to make decisions on behalf of the board? We Was voted there... on a decision okay. for the road dedication once and for all. That's what we're looking into. You don't the road think this dedication. Might be... Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys are literally in court for violating sunshine and you're instructing what? the employ uh, open meetings and you're round robining and communicating with the attorney. Well, I'm so, having I've phone never calls talked to attorney attorney. ever. Okay, so. One person that can violate the Sunshine Law because he's dealing with it. One commissioner is. Listen, we'll you, need, I haven't you need to any contact of this. the attorney because you haven't yet and have your own conversation. I don't violate Sunshine. You need to have the information you do. to you. Okay. He's our attorney. You can go in executive session and meet with an attorney you together. Can. That does you not violate Sunshine. He works you for all three of us. Idiot. You have no idea the reason for an executive session. Oh, I'm an idiot because I'm a man. No, what, what, I'm white. What are the you reasons, call me what are the reasons for executive session? What are the reasons? You're the president of the board. We what can meet with our attorney, attorney client privilege no. to talk about this issue. No, that's not a reason to actually. Go. We should meet with him. You should be communicating with him. And I and, don't know why you haven't. An annexation is not an approved reason to go into executive session. Do you understand that there are certain reasons that you can and can't? Where do you see annexation in this? I didn't. Why does the annexation come up in this? Or road this is road dedication, it's, not an annexation. It's related to. It, it doesn't. Okay, but it doesn't relate to certain reasons. For there are certain reasons to go into executive executive session. One is um, to hire somebody to fire somebody. Well, it seems like we hired this guy. And we're going to look at the progress, see if we're going to hire him to do more work or not have no regarding idea. the dedication. I do not believe. The more you talk, the more stupid you sound. Now, because I, we, I should just let you talk all day, and I'm going to have to say a word. You're not, you, <laughs> you really think you can go into an executive session, just, just like we had an annexation attorney, anything that relates to lands or zoning or planning, that you do not have a reason to go into executive session. There are not there are authorized reasons pursuant to the revised code, and then there are the, the sunshine law, and then there are not approved reasons. That is not an approved reason. So here's the solution: call you call our attorney yeah. and get an update on the status of educational highway. That's how you do it. Okay. That's why we hired him. 
there are other implications. We need to have a meeting. There, Those are they, your your no, ideas they, that you have in your head. There are no other implications. We discussed the other implications okay. with the township well, will be fine. Are, I will have are a not implications. Have a public they are what then, ifs. And I'll see if I can get the Please engineer. Do. Uh, and it'll be public. I'll make it public and I'll announce that I'll invite whoever and I'll invite the engineer, our attorney and their attorney. And if they don't want want to go, then they don't have to go. But I will Listen, do that and I'll, I'll announce it. You I'll are it standing in the way of a billion dollar investment Actually, here. I've been trying and we want to get this road dedicated. You, you, you want to have meetings about what if. You could have been addressed a decade ago dedicated. while you've been a commissioner and completely ignored the matter. We need to get this road dedicated. Okay. Why didn't you do it? Seven years ago, what? or five years ago, why or didn't you, eight why years didn't you ago, talk to our attorney ago. yesterday, or the, or a year ago? You only knew it was a matter of of concern when I That's brought it up true. and called the meeting. That's it was not actually true. on Valentine's Day of I believe it was. First of all, meeting. Mercy Health wasn't even interested in the property seven years ago. It doesn't matter. It it's been a problem for the county for development. There's been other issues over there. No, there hasn't. Been, okay. Point to one other development that could have gone in there that it was a problem, please. Name specifics. You can't. It's all lies. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It could, it could have been done. It. You're making a show here, and we're trying to conduct business, and we're okay. trying to get business well, done. Exactly. And that I'm trying that to be road dedication is very important to economic development. We need to get so that it, done. You want to hold a meeting. What? So why didn't you do it before? So economic development could have occurred over there in that town. You, you never even. But you don't even want to do it no. now. You didn't do You don't anything. want to do it now. That's not correct. That's not what I said. I said, I want to make sure that we have a meeting to discuss all the externalities and other implications and make sure that we're doing things. You waited this long to do that? I have been trying. You've been trying to what? Schedule a meeting for two years? Three, Three years? Like an day. extra not, uh, a, a definition? Okay. Okay. I was Again, fighting I just the fight. It's just no. fighting. Just no. Fighting. No one wants to have a meeting and be. That's a little sus suspicious. If the commissioners don't want to have a public meeting to discuss, the... it's not suspicious. Okay. You should talk to your attorney before you have any public meeting. First of all. Okay. Because I guarantee you, he probably won't come to it. He's going to advise you in private, as he should. Oh, okay. Okay, so moving on. Speaking of public meetings, uh, ODOT is called a public, a non-public meeting next Wednesday, October 18th. Oh. Um, they don't want it to be public. I'd like to nominate. We can only have one commissioner there. I'd like to nominate Commissioner Canamalesa to go in and sit in reg representing the board for I, this one. I, and the I'll reason being it. is... Like to go okay. let me just i have the floor i have the floor commissioner i have the floor i, I have the floor commissioner here who had i you, have you the floor a motion that was seconded so now it's discussion buddy okay, okay. and i have the floor run, learn how to run it you're the president <laughs> you have to actually get up get your butt out of oh the seat gosh. and leave if you want to actually run a meeting the right way but you are don't you seeing how belligerent this is is everybody out. seeing you how belligerent this is you do not have the floor whenever you're the president this is ridiculous so it's you should be ashamed of yourself so, honestly you should be ashamed okay. of yourself. So, the reason I'm yeah. nominating Commissioner okay. Camelasa is Jesus you said Christ. at the last meeting you cannot keep your mouth shut in regards to no. transportation, that you were in charge of it before, and they want this meeting to be a listening meeting to relay the information back to all three commissioners. So by your own words, you stating at the last meeting, when it comes to transportation, I cannot no. and will not keep my mouth shut. That's what you said. I am quoting you directly. You can okay. review the tape. So I feel it's better for us to send Commissioner Canamalesa to go and listen and bring the information back to the three of us without adding no. input from the you board. Turn that away that, that, that is not speaking on behalf of all three of the board members. Please. This is an informational gathering session. Or that's assault. Please, just move it away from me, please. I'm sick. I don't want hot air blowing. Be sick. Okay, so back to what, back, back to what we were saying. Uh, that's completely ridiculous because all he's going he's not going to do anything he doesn't understand transportation I, and I, I believe that jeff goodman said it best maybe about five years ago with a lovely quote he gave you to destroyed him. transportation uh, in this county yeah destroyed it actually it's been how many years since he has known and and our transit administrator who has known that we were not going to join wrta they should have been looking to fund it alternately a year, two years ago, but instead we're waiting until after the funding is already gone. It's terrible. What does he actually do over there? I mean, you're paying someone more than you make and he doesn't even get anything done and there's no 
there's no outcome measures or anything to show that there's any work product. There is no general public transportation, no transportation in Trumbull County, yet we're paying over $150,000 a year for a transit administrator. And then I was told by uh, you all hear that uh, we're just keeping him on until he re because he's got a year until he retires. That is not the way the county should true. be doing. Who said that? Business. That's not true. Oh, just wait for it's it, guys. Just lie. Wait for it. Just lie. That's what that's what I was told. Um, and then the other thing that I want to say is that we have um, the biggest thing before us right now is the transportation improvement district. There, there, and you have you have not done anything to advance that. There is a fund. So you are both wrong on this. There's I'm, I'm probably again, I'm probably the only one who reached out to the state. But there, there, there is a uh, there is a Absolutely wrong. OK, there is a funding deadline of the end of this month. And the applications pre application is op opening up on October 16th and our board that is a brand new commissioner that didn't know where the doesn't know what the difference between a tit or a tiff as of a couple weeks ago, and still probably can't explain it. Uh, why, an why auditor do you continually just, assault, an, insult people? An auditor who just found out why what the general ledger was two, two weeks the, ago. The board you wanted to put together wouldn't have even been assembled till after October 16th. By the time they would have met at their council That's meetings and trustee meetings, That's they would not, not even been assembled by then. It would have been. We have, re, we have receipts from all of the people we invited on the t on the board. We had, They've all accepted. No. We, I talked to, uh, to make progress to a to no. get the Speaker of the House to appoint someone to fill this? the last seat, this and we're ready to go. Point it at yourself. Write, it, write about it. Write it. Write about it in the Tribune. If, if as long as you write about, I mean, just point it at you. Oh, I'm burning up too. Why are you pointing it at me? It's my hand because my hands get cold. No, but you can do. I used you. to put my hand under here until you guys built this. So you want to bitch? Oh, I can't do that now because it's not safe. So I have to keep it somewhere open where it's safe I, there's an automatic shut off okay. on it. okay not true so there is funding available if the if we would have actually the first that's that's a an opportunity for us there's 4.5 million dollars available i talked to them about putting uh the the bought what they look for and got an email with all the information related to ranking the applications um and when you have a five person group who is new and doesn't quite understand things as opposed to 13 people which would be are, new and do not understand things and more people to, well, 13 well, people that don't understand things are you saying that like darlene st george doesn't know what she's doing or might you're the one that criticized like, last these, week these are the people who actually uh who would have been appointed by their communities and had they been appointed, they would have it would have already been in place. And there are people who have experience working and putting these things together, these applications. I in. believe so, uh, Randy Smith and Jim Kinnick have a lot of experience putting these things together. And, and when we get together, I'm sure they will lead the meeting the a, correct way. I'm sure that they would prefer, prefer to have a group of people. We, they've already expressed that that's what the reason it came over requesting it to be uh, put together that way was based on their request. So now you're acting, pretending like you're taking their suggestion when all you did was completely the opposite. So I just hope that we don't miss out on a funding opportunity because they wanted to play a little political game. More gaslighting and, and ignorance. Look at your ignorance. Motion for? Uh, I'll second. You know, Mr. Malloy. Seriously. Yes. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Ms. Frenchco. No. Okay, so it demonstrates that he doesn't know. You're gonna watch on the Zoom meeting. meeting like I will, and then after the after it's done, we'll be able to get together and discuss it in a public forum. Um, and then they'll probably have a public meeting after that or we can conduct a public meeting, but this is requested by ODOT to be a private meeting with only one commissioner in attendance. So and if you had asked ODOT who they would have preferred, that probably would have been the only one that they've dealt with over the last five years. I'm pretty sure anybody in that board would rather deal with anybody but you, if they want to make progress. So, I have dealt anybody with them directly. From, I'm the one who knew that they were not going to be funding. Is it going to be dire? Is that just going to be there? It's over. Do you have comments? Leave the meeting. 
comment? Anybody from, yes, Diane. Hello, oh, Diane Jerkovic, Senior Levy Administrator. I just want to thank you for allowing me to um, send in the registration for the grant, uh, the $790,000 grant. I hope we will get the award letter within the next couple of weeks. From there, I will be asking from direction from you how you want to proceed. It is a grant for the Trumbull County Commissioners to use for the aging. Uh, the Healthy Aging Project, basically, and I would hope you would use the advisory council that you have appointed to help you make decisions on uh, how you want to use those awards. There are specifics with that, so we'll hold to the specifics, but I believe there'll be 50% of that grant that we can spend according to the state 2023 through 2026 aging plan. So I'll be looking for directive from that, but thank you. Thank you for undertaking that too, especially under such quick notice. Anybody else from the public have anything for the good of Trumbull County? Anybody from the phone lines? Hit star six and unmute yourself. Yeah, we've got a lot of requests also regarding the ARPA funds, people that were not approved in the, the last public meetings that we had. Uh, again, I want to reiterate, we still have more than $4 million left. We will be looking at the ones we ranked maybes um, down the road. And then um, some of the people were asking about modifying their grant requests. Um, that'll have to be something that if we get to a second round or another round, um, if we still have funds available that we can consider at that time. Uh, we also, uh, Otter Yoder's not here today, but she is putting together another spreadsheet of funds that were not used, funds we allocated that we gave out that may come back, and those will be added to the pot of what we have of the $4 million that's still remaining. So it doesn't mean that you're all done if you didn't get a call or if you didn't hear your name or, or something was not voted on and you're um, favor of the, everything is still pending until we're finally done with this thing. So please be patient. And for those that we did approve, there's over 40 of them that the attorney is looking at. It's going to take some time. We're going to try to get them on the agenda as quick as we can, as, as they come back from the attorney to see if we move forward with them or not. And uh, there's a lot that goes into just journalizing these and writing the entries up for these things. So we'll do like today we did three, and I hope we can have at least as many every week and as we expend the funds to get the money out in the community. It's no good sitting in the bank. And so we'd rather be in your hands and in the grant recipient's hands as quick as possible to get the money flowing in, into the community. Okay, anybody else? Anything for the greater good? I don't intend a motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. No, oh, there are people on the line that that want to talk, right? Are we reopen or no? Someone's talking. I didn't vote right. yet. Yeah, you want to hear them? Yeah. Okay. I'll withdraw my second on that at this time. On the line, go ahead. Star six. Go ahead and talk. Your name and where okay. you're from. Can you hear me? Can you go hear ahead. me? Okay. Uh, it's Amanda Abear, Warren, Ohio. Um, just a couple quick things. Um, I was wondering where you're at with the surveyor for the property for the pound um if you've been able to get a hold of anyone yet to schedule that um and also as a reminder next wednesday the 18th at 4 p.m um at downtown at the Warren police department in the city uh, the caucus room there is going to be a health and welfare meeting to uh revisit the ordinance for Warren City that states that pit bulls are vicious because they are born. Um, with October being National Pit Bull Awareness Month, it's actually perfect timing. I know that wasn't their intention, but it actually works out to be perfect timing for that meeting. Um, Ohio repealed that in 2012. So as it stands now, again, it is unconstitutional for the city to be doing it 
This is their opportunity to do things correctly. The board has told us for years that they support what we do. This would be a great time for, as a board or as individuals, that you send a letter of support for the city to repeal those. Um, those I will be in attendance, obviously. Those can be sent to me. I will put them in the packet along with the other information. Um, and anyone, any other general members of the public that aren't able to attend could also send those to me as well. What's the what's the date on that, Amanda? Again, I'm sorry, I missed it. The, the 18th, yeah, Wednesday the 18th at 4 p.m. Okay. I want to know more about what you're describing. You mentioned uh, something being not constitutional. Can you explain that? Yes. So before 2012, um, in the ORC. There were, there were brief specific legislation, like Warren still has, meaning that um, pit bulls and I believe a few other breeds were automatically deemed dangerous or vicious because they were born. Um, obviously, as time progresses and thoughts and uh, logic changes, now the Ohio, uh, the Ohio Revised Code has changed it to where appropriately those designations are based on behaviors and actions, not because of breed, as it should be. So the court has already, the Ohio Appeals Court has already ruled in two different cities, Reynoldsburg and just most recently in Girard, that to have those breed specific legislations are unconstitutional, which is why is in the process of repealing theirs because they just got told by the court that they can't do it. So this is Warren's chance to do it on their own without the courts having to tell them that they have to do it. Okay, so they have old legislation on the books that's now outdated because of changes at the state level. Correct. Okay. Thank you. And the the Ohio Appeals Court ruled that home rule uh, would supersede the cities in this in these kind of uh, ordinances. So they don't have home rule. The cities don't. No, the state does. Hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. If you if you want, I can. Um, then email you guys the copy of the same packet I'm going to take next Wednesday if you'd like. I'm going to get that together here in the next day or so. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. I'll do that. Okay, anybody else on the line? Star six. More wait for that. I want to remind our my fellow commissioners we have a very important hearing at Yankee Lake tonight at seven. On the uh, sewer and water project, um, a public hearing. So, so there, no, so there are no surprises. We didn't morph two separate surveys for this one, did we? Put together like that you did on Elm Road. You didn't put two of them together. Hi, Gary Newbrow, sanitary engineer. Uh, there are no assessments on this project. It is a capital charge project, and it was uh, initiated uh, by the need to get sanitary sewer service to the Yankee Lake Ballroom. Okay, thank you. Okay, anyone else on the phone? Not make a motion to adjourn. You know, I'm so disappointed because normally people, I mean, Patty's here and not even saying anything. You don't, you don't have to attack and go after the public in this form. Normally there's more. I don't know if it's because Mara's sick today. Oh, okay, well, here we go. <laughs> here you opened it. You asked for it, Commissioner. Okay. Just remember, you asked for it. Right? Ask and you shall receive. Sean Shook, Trauma County resident. Uh, 
Commissioner Malloy, I think you hit the nail on the head a little bit earlier when you said about the cards Ms. Frenchko plays. Since she's come into office, she's played a lot of cards. First, it was they were against me because I'm a woman. They're against me because I'm a Republican. They're against me because I have a disability. And just last week, it was they're against me because I'm Hispanic. She really played that card since last week. And I believe it's because the more she realizes she's not going to get reelected, she's desperately pushing for lawsuits against Trumbull County. So on her way out the door, she can get a big payday. So I caution the board of commissioners. I caution anybody who works for Trumbull County, be very cautious around this woman. She's pushing just like she did just now in this meeting. She couldn't let the meeting close. She had to push. I noticed she's in a rare mood today. And I wonder if that has anything to do with a recent incident at a tanning salon that I think the media will be breaking where she was at a tanning salon harassing employees. Yeah, that's going to come out real soon. But thank you for your time. I guess I have a question, too, since you opened it up, Commissioner. Last week, you nominated, you appointed somebody to represent you at the Planning Commission meetings. Found out that this person you, rep, you appointed is the director of RAP that oversees parking in downtown Warren. You went into the RAP office and complained about a ticket you had. And then you demanded to meet with the executive director. You went in, you met with her for over an hour in her office unexpectedly. You came out with the ultimate outcome was no ticket. And you appointed the director to represent you on a planning board, gave her a board seat with a vote. I, I want to ask how you think in this world that's ethical in any way, shape or form. You're the queen of ethics. You're the gotcha queen. Why would you go in and appoint the person who's in charge of parking tickets when you go in there for the reason to dispute a parking ticket you had? You don't know Why would I you think. appoint that person to, to represent you at a board? Correct, you don't know. You I talked really to her don't. yesterday. Really the media don't. talked to her. Um, but we talked to the secretaries. Yeah. This was given to us as a tip from a secretary. You came in to complain about a ticket. And you were demanded to meet with the director. And after you met with the director, I you put, you appointed her the next day to represent you on the board. To talk about the tip as well and about uh, the tip. Talk about I'm the sorry, what? The Transportation Improvement District. No, no. You went in there to talk about a ticket, there were, a $10 there, ticket. This, you might this get this lady's this whole world so, disrupted this is for, so ridiculous. for ethics. This when the Ethics so, Commission looks at this, it is absolutely, are you kidding? It is absolutely ridiculous to suggest that I would do anything unethical over ten. What did you pay her? Over ten dollars. Like seriously? Did you pay for the ticket, Commissioner Frenchko? This is insane. It was the ticket dismissed? And you appointed her to represent us on the board to represent your vote on the board. She is In what ethical world is that legal or ethical? Uh, that has Ethics commission wise, media wise, public scrutiny wise. Oh, okay. You go in and, pay, and get out of a ticket and then you appoint the person that got you out of a ticket to the board to represent you and you give them power. That's to me, insane. that is quid pro quo That's that breaks so all ethics things That's like I've never heard before. Insane. I'm disgusted by those actions. I'm disgusted by you. And you so can't be. everyone. You're yeah. supposed to be the queen of ethics. Gross. I can't believe you did that to this poor woman. She's an innocent victim in this. She's and an now her world is, is going to crumble around her with the public scrutiny I'm for this. It's going to crumble around her. Ethics violation wise. A an ethics violation. I would ask, okay. I would think she would oh, step okay. down just for ethics I reasons. Would, I, I, that would be really, really interesting to just send it off. Send in an ethics thing. And, and uh, that would be that would be cute. That's ridiculous. No, it's not cute. This is it's not cute at all. Okay. We'll send it in. You go in and complain about a stinking ticket and you appoint the person <laughs> to represent you on the board. Because you said no. you can't get up early. No. This is what you told she told me you told her. Wow. I mean, I, I've never seen an ethics violation as, as heinous That's as that. <laughs> oh my God. I haven't. <laughs> I just had my ethics training from the state from the state. Okay. <laughs> We all did. You, um, Dominic Marquez, and who was the other guy that you put on those boards right after they gave you? Uh, he was on the board before I got here. No, no, the other, one, the other one. Yeah, both of them. You put you put on two of your donors on. Uh, like I never got they, a penny from Jack Barco. Okay, he's not on any campaign finance report, oh, okay. so that's a lie. And then you, but you're getting money from what a, a club that's not even a pack, a cigar club. Is that what you do? I never got a penny from the cigar club. Look at my campaign finance report. You had events with Regina, right? 
You're, you're fishing for all kinds know, of stuff. You love know. the law of accusations out there and hope that they stick. No, we we know what we we know. All right. All I'm I saying is, yeah. okay. I feel bad for this director of rap, and and I would hope that she rap. would reconsider it, accepting this appointment because it does not smell, taste, or look oh. ethical in any way, shape, or form. Only because she has a similar master's in educational and interest background as I do, as it relates to planning and CDBG. We, she's a, a, absolutely an excellent person to be there i, I mean, believe she probably is an excellent yeah. person they got caught up in the nikki french <laughs> world in which everyone becomes victims yes the, the, yes the ten dollar victim yes i'm glad you accepted victim. yes they are <laughs> glad you accepted that so there are other employees that do not work and lost their careers because $10, of you and now you put this woman in jeopardy victim. okay this is really insane. yeah that's how petty it is over ten dollars you went in and complained and then walked out of there thinking you won by appointing this lady on a board and did not have to pay your ten dollar ticket. It's not ten dollars. That's not ten correct. bucks. That's not because you didn't correct. want to walk sixty feet to your pro your parking correct. spot. Well, I urge everybody to look into that and get it's to the bottom correct. of it. And get Ray, the truth. I know you're on it. I know you're get looking at this. I've never seen oh. something as unethical in my entire unethical. life yet in government. Yeah, to to find out why someone ticket to go in with a question, and then also with the interest in what was the park question park. you were in a two-hour parking spot for seven hours no yeah and you use the handicap thing to try to say you got more time because you have a handicap you placard four, yeah. which allows you four hours Correct. you were still there more than the four hours was in that spot no, what, what 60 happened? feet from your spot with your name on it what happened is they weren't able 60 to, feet i found out that the person was not able to read the entire thing so that's that's all i just I, there was information it doesn't matter you it weren't in a handicap spot anyway oh my god you were north of the poles out on Harmon street where okay. the handicap ends and it's okay. a sheriff either, only. either way i i also was there to talk about the transportation improvement district oh since I'm, let me go talk about that since i'm here let me bring up this ticket oh, i did okay all right. It's not the way it was related to us. You think we just found this out? People were disgusted that you did that, and that's why they came to us and complained. People I thought it was it. unethical I and thought it. that we they needed to report it to somebody because they thought it was unethical. People thought that that was abuse of your I power as commissioner it, I, and I, thought I, it was abuse I, of the I power of the it. director also to accept to this try, position. To try to contact RAP, yeah, to... Obviously, because Mike Keys, I was trying to contact him too because I was concerned about the board's failure to do the transportation improvement district correctly. I mean, she Mike Keys supports the board's decision. Okay. And and Melissa so Phillips publicly has nothing in the to tribute. do with the board with the TID or with Mike Keys. Okay. I well, we were, we were discussing that. Well, again, I would hope she does the right thing. I would hope that. You regret putting her in that position. Apologize to her for putting her in that position. Oh God. More. Is there more? You asked for it. I mean, we we can anyone else have anything else? Come on. Mara. Well, Mara doesn't feel well today. Let's keep it going. Why is that funny? <laughs> I don't understand. Because it was the only meeting that we that was actually going to be wrapped up quickly, and and people you weren't coming up. So <laughs> you yeah. did. You wasted a half hour, right? Talking about what right. ifs instead because of getting did. things done. So more. Is there anything else? No. Please. No. Not today. Okay. Not today or ever. Okay. I don't have time for nonsense. Entertain a motion again, more please. Make a motion to adjourn. I second that. Mr. Cancela Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. I'm disappointed. No, I'm just gonna say no.